so hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I can't even I am like at loss for words you guys the stuff that I've been telling you leading up to this video has really happened and I can't believe I am sharing my experience with you guys about meeting this person. I just, it doesn't, it, it doesn't seem real and I hope to see him again very soon in something else that he does. Um, it just doesn't seem real. Anyway, so let's just get into the video. You'll find out soon enough. I promise you. You'll probably find it in the title. So anyway, yeah. So let's get into the video. So yesterday, August 5th, today's August 6th. It's the day after. Um, let me just show you guys first. Um, I have the ticket. It's in my wallet. Let me show you. So, yesterday, my mom and I went to, if you're not familiar with the city, if, and if you're not familiar, you know, like me, going and meeting celebrities, then you probably won't know about this place. But there's this place in the city called the Build Series. It's the AOL Build, where they interview different celebrities, different cooks, different authors, you know, whatever, all types of people. And, I can't believe I'm saying this, I met... And saw Milo Ventimiglia. Milo Ventimiglia. Jack Pearson, <laughs> Chess Mariano. I I can't. I am, okay. And also, it wasn't just him that was there. This was my ticket um, for the show. Um, it wasn't just him. He went for The Art of Racing in the Rain, his new movie, which comes out August 9th. Make sure you go and see it because it's going to be good. Um, Milo, it wasn't just him who, that was there. Mena Seyfried was there from Les Mis, Mamma Mia, all that. And Simon Curtis, who is the director of the movie, was also there. Um, but, got some exciting things before the show. <laughs> so, um... Basically, what happened was, my mom and I, we walked to the AOL build, and this place is far. This place is after Union Square, which was where I met Jimmy in Barnes & Noble's in Union Square and down the city. It's past that. Um, it's on 4th Street, East 4th Street, very far away from Grand Central, and we walked. Mind you, we walked there. So, we basically walked to this place, and I'll be putting in pictures so when we got there, it was about, it was before 1 o'clock, it was like 12.30, and I wanted to Snapchat, and I took a picture of one of the barriers against the window of the building, and one of the lenses yesterday was, today's a good day, and I didn't know that was there, and it was, hey, that's cool, so awesome. So I took a picture, I used that lens, and then I put an arrow down, as you see in the picture, I said yes it is so it was just off to a really good start and it was just really awesome so we were waiting around and all these fucking paparazzis I'm not about them at all I think they're such an annoyance and I think they take up time with the actual people that really want to meet that person there's just a lot of paparazzi it was really annoying like different groups and things so we saw this couple standing against the wall on the other side of the building and I went up to them and I said they're really sweet and I said is this the line to wait for um, you know Milo's interview and they said yeah so at this point it was already around almost 1240 and his show was at 2 um, but the people before him was at 1 and so we were waiting online and for a long time. We got online around like 12.40 and we had to wait until 2 o'clock, like 1.45ish to go inside. And so we're waiting in line and this another car pulls up. Okay, 
it could be Milo, it could be Amanda, it could be the director. And it was the director, Simon Curtis came first, didn't stop for anybody, whatever. Mind you, one of the hot security guards came out to us and said, do not ask Milo for any pictures before the taping. You guys can come out after, we'll put up barriers, and you can get pictures with everybody after. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever, like, I'm gonna get it, it's okay. So, I would say about, like, 15, 20 minutes later, um, another another black suburban type of car pulls up and I was like okay this is either Amanda or Milo and what do you know a guy she steps out and in my mind I'm just freaking out and mind you I had my phone ready to take pictures of him when he was coming out of the car and I just I went mute I didn't hear anything around me I was just just staring at him and just looking at him in all his glory and my heart was pounding, I just, I was going dizzy, it was just a rush of excitement, and thank God my mom was here, because my mom took pictures of Milo walking into the building, which I'll leave here, and as he was walking in, he had a cell phone in his one hand, and he had sunglasses on his face, and he was telling everybody that if he had time before the show started, that he'll come back out and take pictures with everybody. I kid you not guys, not even two seconds later, Milo comes out again. I mean he went in and then came out. That's it. Like two seconds. He must have gave his rep, because he was with some his agents and rep rep people, he must have given them his sunglasses and his, and his phone. And he came back out and what made up most of the um, like whole crowd was the paparazzi. And I think that's a little bit unfair because, first of all, they're there every day meeting tons of people. And they should at least give, you know, the people that are actually there a chance first. Mind you, everyone was so fucking rude. Everybody that was there was pushing and shoving and mean and rude. They were awful. Like, the fans of Milo are awful people. And except this girl named Victoria that I met, she was really sweet. And this mom I met was really nice as well. But other than that, everybody else was fucking rude. And at this point, there's no barriers. They should have put barriers. It was madness. And I was getting worried that, like, I wasn't going to get a photo. Because at this point, it was 11.40. One, I'm sorry, 1.40. And we get let in at, what, 1.30. So I'm thinking, great. So this is just great. They're going to push him back into the door. And so I said, you know what, that's it. So I left my spot with my mom, and I went over to where he was standing on the other side. And he looks at me and says, no, no, it's okay, like, I'm coming to you, like, I'm going to make my way to you, go back to where you were standing. And I died, and he was dead. Like, looked directly at me, so sweet, so nice. Mind you, he's so fucking hot, I can't, I can't, I, I can't deal with it. So, and he, mind you, he looks, he points to where I was standing. So, here's the thing. If he, how would he know where I was standing if he didn't look at my mom and I? Like, one of the pictures prior to this, when my mom was taking of him when he was coming in, he was clearly directly looking at my mom and I. And that was before he told me to go back to my spot. So clearly he was looking at my mom and I standing in our spot. Maybe because we weren't acting like psychopaths and like acting crazy and, you know, like crazy people. Um, he must have appreciated the fact that we were acting normal. And so he told me very sweetly, like I said, pointed to my spot to go back. And I told my mom, I said, no, it's okay. He's coming over to me. And so he takes a, he takes pictures with a couple of the girls that shoved. And he saw me and acknowledged me and shook his head and said he was coming. And I took the picture with him. This is where it gets funny. My I had my phone ready. You know how like you turn on your phone, you get it on the picture to take a picture. My phone started glitching out and it turned off. And he turned on the side button of my iPhone to get my lock screen. Mind you. I'll put the picture. The picture that I had of Milo, this was the picture I had on my screen. And I'm like, God damn it, God damn it. He saw my picture. And um, 
embarrassing one-on-one <laughs> and so he goes no no it's okay like I'll get it don't worry about it blah 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 really sweet again and then um we took the photo I said thank you he looked at me blah blah, blah. then my mom took her photo with him and then I said to him um can I give you something I have a drawing for? He goes, oh yeah, sure. Really nice, happy, oh my god, love it. And um, I gave him the drawing and it, I don't, I didn't photocopy it so I can't show you, but it had like, I colored it sideways with different colors, like art, and then I wrote on it in bubble letters, the art of racing in the rain, and then the other side, I wrote him a letter. So again, I'm never going to know if he reads it, I'm never going to know if he keeps it, I don't know, that's just the risk that you're doing, you know, taking time out of your day to make someone something, because you just don't know, but who knows, maybe he did read it and appreciate the fact that, you know, I made him something, because I think I was like the only one who made him something, and um... So he looked at it and smiled and said thank you to me and then I said thank you to him and then yeah he went in and then we went in. Well first this really, I am not one to make fun of someone's weight but this really fat guy behind me was pushing he was like you know I want a picture of Miley you know and I was like well I'm trying to get back to my mom you know like really like just just like plain out fucking rude like come on guys. And so we then go inside, and I kid you not, we got front and center. Front and center. And mind you, Amanda was late. The show actually got changed from 2 to 2.30. The show didn't start at 2.30. Um, it started like a little bit after 2, because she was like 15 minutes late due to traffic. Um, and so I, so basically they came out. Again, I'm dying. He's in front of me. His laugh, his laugh is just so fucking cute and he's just so hot and he's just perfect Ugh. literally and I was able to ask him a question oh as I said I'll leave pictures as I'm telling you guys about the builds so you're allowed to take pictures inside so I took a couple and I was able to asked them a question so I got to hold an AOL microphone again um, and I asked them a question Milo actually answered twice and looked directly at me and Amanda was super sweet she looked directly at me too and it was I don't know guys I freaked out like after it was over I completely lost it after, at first I was just in complete and utter shock so I really had nothing to release from my body. But then, after the taping was over, I completely lost it and I started crying. And I called up my best friend Maria and I... I just lost it. He, guys, he's the most sweetest person, quietest, humblest. When people really mean he's humble, they, they're, they're not, like, they're not... He even said it himself, like, he always tries to be a good person and you know be nice and that's just who he is he said that he relates to Denny in so many ways and if you guys want to watch me in the video then go on to AOLbuild.com and find Amanda Seyfried's Milo Ventimiglia and Simon Curtis video on there and you can see me um but yeah so I don't know guys that's pretty much what happened yesterday, and I can't. It was amazing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did. I'm so glad that you guys are so patient with me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.